what is up everyone thanks for chilling with me i'm kg if you guys are new here please hit that subscribe button thanks to everyone that's already subscribed please like them like and comment the video it really helps so much uh let's go ahead and get right into it man i want to talk about jogging you know first card i want to talk about not because of, you know not because we should buy it or anything like that this card's super accessible for all copies it's just that uh um, we need a super rare you know we need to get a super rare ots something like that ultra rare or something we need some holographic uh, moving forward here, Inspector Border. I want to talk about this card again because I told you so. Now, you know, I recently bought this card for, like I said, I bought like five or six copies of this card for like two, three bucks a piece. I told you guys to get into this card, like I said, for two to three dollars. I think that was a really good price for these first editions. You know, as you can see, there's only 36 quantities of these ones that I'm referring to, the um, Extreme Force first editions. Um, like I said, these copies go up quickly, and when I talked about them before, they were already going up. I saw this shit coming, so... You know, that two to three dollars was actually disrespectful so i mean even these three to four is kind of disrespectful because you can see like i said if you were watching here you saw what it goes up to so let's not spend too much time on it but it goes up quick inspector border so next card i want to talk about is naturia exterior really this card does not really exist i have a dt of this i've had it for years paid three dollars for it uh, like i said i've had it since i was a child but um you know the only reason i'm even bringing up this card is because it's in the, it's in a lot of combos nowadays i'm sure a lot of people are talking about it so we're not going to spend too much time on it uh, next card I want to talk about here is Candina. So, Trickstar Candina is going low in all quantities. So, all these quantities are low. I have the Ultras. I have a shit ton of these. I have so many Ultras, Mega Packs, and um, Quarterly Duelists. I also have some Starfoil Extras. Uh, I don't have any of these commons, but I have all these three here at the top. Like I said, these have been cheap for a while. You can still get into these for a decent price, but I'm just bringing up to you all that they're very low on quantity. So some you can get into, like I said over here, you know, we don't really spend too much time on any one individual card. You know, or I'm just going to go ahead and move forward. You know, if you're new, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. If you're existing, thank you so much for showing love like you always do. I really appreciate you guys. Um, next card I want to talk about here, Dimensional Prison. Uh, this card is getting low in quantities for every single copy of the card. Now, as far as what copy you should buy, I really don't even know. You know, the highest rarity is this, um, the DS game copy. I, you know, I personally, you know, I don't even know if you want to buy this card. I'm just bringing up that it is low in quantities. If it's something that you want to buy or you play in old formats, you may want to look into getting it now. Because, like I said, very low in quantities. Something you're not going to have an option to get for much longer um, at that price. So, moving forward here, I want to talk about Time Thief Perpetual. This is another card. Like I said, I, you know, I told you about this card. I said you guys should get this card when it was around $55. Um, you know, the reason I said that you should get this card is because there's no way it could get any lower. And at that time, it was already low in quantities as far as the amount of sellers that have the card. So, you know, as you can see here, you're starting at 70 bucks right now. So, it goes up to 75 85 and then it's gone. I mean, listen, bro. I have at least... At this point, I have like five of these. I may order more if I can get some more for that $50, $60 range. But I'm just going to tell you guys, I'm going to give you the spice, bro. Check Amazon, bro. Check Amazon. Make sure you check eBay. eBay's probably trashed out by now, but check Amazon, man. I'm telling y'all, like I said, I'm giving y'all the spice, man. Check Amazon on that car because you may still be able to get it for around the $55 mark. But moving forward here, I want to talk about Dimensional Alchemist here. Try and get some of these loaded up. But Dimensional Alchemist, I want to talk about this because low on quantities for every single one. Um, the highest rarity is a gold rare. So like I guess I don't know which one you may want to buy. But like I said, I'm telling you guys right now, it is low in quantities. If it's something that you maybe want, <clears throat> I would get the speed dual ones over these normal common ones. But because it's just from a structure deck. But like I said, you know, these are all pretty shit copies. So hopefully we can just get this card reprinted. But like I said, it's low in quantity. So we did talk about it here today. Uh, moving forward here, let's talk about Cross Sheep. I want to talk about the Cross Sheep because, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one because I'm sure a lot of people are talking about Cross Sheep. Um, but, you know, I'm, you know, Jesse Cotton used it in a combo video I saw a while ago. Um, and this card is low in quantities for all copies. I have a bunch of the Secret Rares. They were 50 cents at one time, so I just bought a bunch of them. Um, you know, like I said, I sell cars and buy cards, so I have a bunch of a lot of these cars. But uh, if you guys don't have it, man, I would get into it now before the Secret Rares, three, four bucks. And, you know, we'll zoom in on it. You know, the Secret Rare goes up very quickly. You know, like I said, two bucks right now to get into it. But not towards the, you know, you're going three dollars, four dollars, like, I don't know, man. Five bucks this card's ridiculous when you could have got it for 50 cents. So I will get into it now while you can for two dollars at this point. Um, next card I want to talk about here is TG Wonder Magician. Um, 
this is a card that you know is shit now that we don't have uh hawk anymore ever since um you know needle fiber hawk whatever you want to call it ever since it got banned you know it, it needed to get banned you know there was too much collateral damage like we lost a lot of shit and we're still recovering from that shit bro bro but um you know like i said this card goes up quickly and this is a very beautiful card not many quant you know I would get this card if you guys don't have it. You know, there's a good amount of listings of this card. 53. I'm not saying we're ever going to use this card again. I'm not saying it'll ever come up again, but it's beautiful. You can get it for cheap. Goes up quick. So we talked about it. Moving forward, Small World. This is a card that I really like. Uh, I was playing this in a version of my Mech Knight, Phantom Knight Orcus build. Um, just searches Gearsu. You know, you play Valor and pretty much everything gets to Gearsu by playing Valor. Uh, this card has a lot of applications in a lot of different decks. It's not just, obviously, it's not just good in the one deck i'm talking about but just as an example the card is very very good um you know i would say get into this card now while you can for a decent price of course i'm going to recommend the original print secrets um you know right now eight nine dollars i told you guys to get these and they're like five six dollars but you know still goes up significantly towards the end of the page so i would say get into the card now it's the original secret print i do not think this card is going to get reprinted anytime soon i could be dead ass wrong obviously i don't know the future of the game but you know that's just my opinion moving forward here and then just get into the the reprint secrets even if you want to spend a little less and just have the card but moving forward here i just i recommend the original print secrets most of the time because they have a higher chance of holding value you know anything anytime you get a reprint and it's the same rarity as the original print chances are it's not going to hold as much value now moving forward here number 62 galaxy eyes prime photon dragon uh this is a card that's gone up ever since we got that other galaxy eyes card that can like otk and attack a bunch of times or some bullshit but um you summon this with two level eights and then you summon the other guy and just pretty much go for game so this card is expensive now i have two of these myself uh, one that i'm keeping just for my collection because rank eight and then one that i'm selling one that i bought when i when the other card was announced so you know i got that for like 20 bucks so you know i mean i don't know i'll probably hold on to it for a little longer i don't even know like this is very expensive just just showing you guys a little bit about what i'm about moving and the card came in in great condition you know it said mod play but it was in great condition the one that i got that's extra but um next one i want to talk about is the secret rare um dark magician is this the right this is not the right one like look at this man man this is not the right one bro i want to talk about the secret rare one like i don't know what's going on here bro I'm probably going to have to edit it out. There it is. All right. So Secret Rare. This is the one I wanted to talk about. This one's very low in quantities. It looks beautiful. Uh, even the Ultra Rare, like I said, looks beautiful. But I'll, why not get the Secret Rare? Um, as you can see here with the quantities, it, it's very low in quantities. The price doesn't go up significantly until you're like halfway to a little over halfway through the page. But the price jump is there after you get halfway. Th like it's, you know, you're starting at five, six bucks. But then after that, it goes up. I, like I said, I might buy one of these low key. But um, just wanted to bring it up to you guys. Another cool copy of Dark Magician that you should have now this is a copy of dark magician that i told you guys to get i told you guys to get this card multiple times you know this is a good card L listen this is the, this is the 25th i never this it actually says 25th on the card like when it says the number here this is what it actually says on the card i have one of these i should have i should have bought another one but i told you get to the to get into this around 90 to 95 dollars as you can see here it's around 100 to 105 dollars to start card goes up very quick you know 110 115 120 125 and then just you know one you know like i said the car goes up very quickly this is a great collector's card this is a car that you might want to you know like i said if you don't have it i would say you want to get into this card if you don't have it i would get into it personally now the next card i want to talk about here is marauding captain bro so marauding captain is an old school card if anyone you know if you guys have been in this game as long as i have you know about this car you know how awesome this card is if you look at the listings here as far as how many are available we'll go to first editions we have 57 available you know you're starting here as far as your pricing these are damaged so if you want to get to a, a light play mild play you know you can see here you're starting at eight nine dollars the card goes up significantly so you quickly go up to 15 and then here you go up to 20 you know so I, like i said this card goes up very quickly uh, there are two pages of this card just to 57 you know double double digits though so i would recommend if you don't have this card this card goes up quickly for the first edition copies this card does go up significantly so if you can get your hands on one of these original print 
um, you know, marauding captains, I would recommend you get one. If you're still with me, thanks for chilling this long, man. I really do appreciate you guys checking me out. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know your favorite sports team. Doesn't you know any sport? Let me know your favorite sports team if you stay at this long. I appreciate you guys once again for checking me out. Genuinely, if you're if you and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps a lot. Now I want to talk about Saphir, Queen of Dragons. This is the last card I want to talk about simply because it's very low in listings. You know, you can see here as far as the listings are concerned, very low in listings. Uh, you know, we'll filter out the first editions. We have 44. Card goes up significantly in price too. So top of the page, you can get into it for six dollars. Um, as you can see, not even scrolling down, it goes to 10. So, obviously, you can see here this goes up quick. We won't spend too much time on it. You can see that that goes up quickly. Uh, but it's this this is not alone. So, if you go back here to all the listings of this card, even the ultra rares from the Mega Pack are low in listings, and then the ultra rares from the original set are low in listings. These ultra rares from the original set are not a bad buy either. I mean, of course, the Mega Packs, they seem like they're not a bad buy either, but I just never, you know, I can't like, you know, it's very rare, but I'm going to say, yeah, it's a good idea to get the, the Mega Pack one. So, just get these original prints. So, like I said, you can get this one, $2. Um, you know, as you can see, it goes up to $3 here, um, $4, you know, bottom of the page, you're at 5 And like I said, there's only going to, there's only 60, what, 64 of these. So, you know, I would, I would say if you guys want to get into this card, you know, a, a good card that you can get into for cheap, looks beautiful, you know, I would say get into it. Like I said, I would get the ultimate rare, but, you know. I, I brought it up to you guys. So I do appreciate you guys for watching my market watch. Comment your favorite team down below. You guys take care. Have a good rest of your day. Help me. Help me.